welcome back to my channel. It's Nita here from Next with Nita and today I'm going to share how I achieved this look without any foundation at all. So if you want to see how I achieved this look, go ahead and keep watching. I'm going to start using the Arborean CC Cream and it'll start out white but as soon as you put it onto your skin, it'll actually blend to your skin tone. Notice how it changed colors. We're gonna jump into the brows and I'm gonna use a spoolie just to feather out and brush them. Now I'm gonna take one of my favorites, Cream Gel Eyebrow Brush. It's Benefit Cosmetics in the brow and I'm in shade four. I'm just gonna dip it in there and fill in the gaps. I already have crazy bushy brows so I don't need to do too much. Dang, look at the difference that made. For some extra fluff, I'm gonna go in with Hourglass Volumizing Fiber Gel and just give it that feathery look. Okay, my eye bags are not looking so great, so I'm gonna take my Tarte Color Correcting Palette and I'm gonna grab the red shade just with my finger and this will just go right underneath my eyes. Now it's time to conceal and I'm gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape in shade medium and just dab it along my dark circles. I may put some on my blemishes, down my nose, a couple other areas where I want to conceal. You feel me? I'm actually going to take a foundation brush, this one's from Bare Minerals. It's meant for foundation, but I do like it for concealer. And I'm just going to gently blend it all together. This concealer actually has a matte finish, so if you're on the drier side like me, just make sure you hydrate before you apply this. And when I say hydrate, I mean actually using a hydrating under eye cream and a moisturizer. This Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage Palette is literally my secret to hide the dark circles. I like to give myself an extra layer of concealer using this on special occasions just to give me some extra glow under the eyes. Do you see how instantly brighter this eye looks compared to the other one? It's time to lock in the concealer with my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I've been using this for years now. It is one of my favorites. There's also another one that's more affordable and pretty comparable, and it's called the Cody Airspun, and you can probably get that at your local drugstore. Let's jump into the eyes. Well, I'm gonna take the Urban Decay Basics Eyeshadow Palette, which is on sale by the way, and I'm gonna take shade Nude and just cover it over my eyes as a base. Now I'm gonna take one of my favorite palettes from Too Faced, it's their Sweet Peach Eyeshadow Palette, and I'm going to take Just Peachy and build out the crease. The easiest way I learned how to do this was just to make little windshield wiper motions. <laughs> Does that make sense?
going into the second shade, I'm going to take Nectar, which is a really pretty orange shimmer, and I'm going to apply it all across my lid. Super easy, right? Now we're gonna curl these lashes. I actually don't know where this curler is from, but I know BH Cosmetics does have a really good one, and I think it's just a few bucks. Now it's time for the mascara, and I love Maybelline's Total Temptation. It's like literally one of my favorite drugstore mascaras. I'm gonna hop right into those lashes and coat them, coat them, coat them. Now we're gonna add the bronzer. I'm using Urban Decay Beached Bronzer, and I'm gonna go in like a three motion on the side of my cheeks. And that'll give you like the perfect natural sun-kissed look. I'm going to add some color to my cheeks using Milani's Tea Rose Blush. It is such a gorgeous color. And I'm just going to take a little fluffy brush and put it on the apples of my cheeks. Now my favorite part, I'm going to be using Maybelline's Molten Gold Highlighter and just trickle it on my cheek. And just to be extra, I do like to add a little bit on the top of my eyebrows, just like that. Don't forget to add some to your cupid's bow, and then I also like to do a little dash on the tip of my nose, which I like to call my button. Last but not least, I am going to touch on the lips. I'm going to add Milani's Lip Liner, and I like to do this just so my lips look fuller and more plump. I love how well this CoverGirl lipstick goes with that liner. This is in shade Caramel Kiss and it's so creamy and hydrating. Alright you guys, what do you think? This is the finished look without any foundation whatsoever. I use Herborian CC Cream all throughout Cabo just because it's so good for your skin and it just kind of leaves you with this polished look without the foundation. Plus it has SPF which is perfect if you're going to be out in the sun. But I hope you enjoyed this quick and easy tutorial. Let me know if you want more videos like this and I will keep them coming. Which by the way, have you noticed? I got a new backdrop. So excited about this pink drop pink drop drop. I'm so excited about this pink backdrop because I want to do more tutorials using this. It's just so much more fun. I'm going to get more colors too to make my YouTube channel look more exciting. Speaking of my YouTube channel, I do hope you subscribe because I will be doing more tutorials as everyone does say, but truly I want to grow my YouTube this year. It is one of my biggest goals. I hope you give this look a try. So if you do, let me know. Tag me on Instagram or just DM me, email me, whatever you're going to do to show me, I'll be there to check it out. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, all that good stuff. And of course, we will chat soon. Bye.